What's the pivot value of penguins? Today we do 2013 number eight on single transaction pathway. So here we're given this figure and it says the figure above represents a generalized hormone signaling pathway. Briefly explain the role of each numbered step in the regulating target gene expression. So first let's look at step one. Step one, we have a signaling molecule. There's this ligand. Ligand binds to the receptor, which causes a conformational shape change, which is going to initiate signaling. So step one, hormone ligand binding, receptor to initiate, trigger, induce signaling, or just signal reception. So the student says ligand binds to the membrane-bound receptor, which goes through all membrane of cell membrane. Receptor will alter its shape inducing a signal response. If there are fewer ligands, the response will decrease. If the receptor is not functioning, the cellular response will not occur. Example, diabetes. So step two is talking about that I've got transduction. Okay, so I see that there is a conformational shape change occurring between our relay molecules, which is going to transfer the message from step one to step three. Um, and this can also um, amplify the signal and it can also regulate the signal. So step two, an intercellular cascade that induces, amplifies, transfers the signal from positive membrane to the nucleus or other cellular effectors. Um, and they are saying specifically nucleus because you can see the nucleus is labeled. So step two, the transduction pathway goes through a few messengers until one non-protein messenger passes through the nuclear envelope. This pathway um, amplifies the signal, controls the signal, and functions as a way to um, induce many cellular responses of the pathway can continue in divergent directions. And step three, let's look at the nucleus. I see that the signal um, is going to cause the uh, DNA to become activated. Um, so this can cause uh, regulation of gene expression. It can turn on or turn off a gene. So transcription expression of target genes is simulated or repressed. So the messenger will either act as an inducer and allow RNA polymerase to transcribe the gene or as an inhibitor to stop transcription. This is critical in negative feedback where signals control on off times of the mRNA production. So if that was helpful, remember a bio penguin is just assessed by a